Hey y'all, hey. Now y'all forgive me. I don't remember exactly how much this was, this uh, netting to keep the small insects and stuff out. I got it for the garden, but it's also great for doing the microgreens and sprouts with to uh, be able to put on the jar and strain out the water and not let little nets and stuff get in there. So you won't have a kitchen full of nets and stuff if you're doing your sprouts this way. And foot by foot, yard by yard, it is cheaper than the cheesecloth, period. The initial investment will be a lot. You know, you're gonna spend more than you would getting a pack of cheesecloth, but you get way more of this. This is a whole roll and it'll last a whole lot longer. Like I said, I forgot about that part. The cheesecloth, you will get black marks around the ring part from using the water from having to rinse so often. So we're still in our trial and error phase. As I am doing the growing, I am catching footage of it so I can put the whole video together, edit it all together to show the growing process. Then because microgreens grow so fast, sprouts grow so fast, I'm going to be doing it all over again, step by step, day by day. I'm doing it this way because number one, I need to learn how to do the compilation videos effortlessly. Number two, there are going to be a lot of people who just want to see the process full out, no stops, no in-betweens, no breaks. And number three, I need to get my supply of microgreens growing and rolling. Generally, if you're trying to incorporate them into your diet, you need to be getting some microgreens started every day so it goes in rotation. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and cut this to size so I can shoot another video, putting it on the jar and put that snippet out. All right, y'all, bye.